Welcome to another episode of the John Gill Show. And on this episode, I'm super excited to have on Christian Paz. He is a mural artist, a Chicago mural artist. And uh, he's going to talk to us today about just his art and what inspires him and more about the uh, scene here in Chicago nationwide and uh, all of the above. So, Christian, thanks so much for being on the show today, man. All right. No, thanks for having me. And pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, we met. Uh, I, we, we, you were. Uh, Finishing up a mural over at uh, Dulce de Leche Cafe. Dulce de Leche Cafe. That's yeah, right, man. Yeah. That's awesome. That pl- looked awesome. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, wh- how did you get into the s- into into the scene? Okay, so um, I always liked art since uh, you know since I was little. I used to do my big brother's art homework. <laughs> <laughs> He's a doctor now, so I used to bust out some really good, uh, you know artwork for him you know so nice drawing hearts and you know body parts and all that so but um yeah at a young age I, I i always had a thing for art and uh that progressed to like uh you know being in an inner city when you take the train i, I remember taking the train rides with my mom to work and uh you look out your window back in the you know late 80s early 90s and you see you know murals graffiti all over oh the everywhere tops. yeah and I, you know I used to just love seeing that. So all those train rides that 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 stuck to me, you know. And I was like, hey, how how they get up there, you know? Right. <laughs> how they do it? <laughs> so, uh, you know, fast forward to like my uh, uh, early teen years, uh, you know, being in an inner city, I had a lot of friends that were also into art, and for whatever reason, that kind of graffiti was the outlet. You know? Got there it. There was no uh, art school or art school programs. Sure, it was. Uh, after school <laughs> street bombing um but no um so yeah that that got me into graffiti uh at an early age and just to uh uh come to appreciate and learn a lot from the graffiti world um so that was the beginning yeah you said street bombing so what was okay. that exactly <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you gotta watch the word bombing right so bombing is basically going out and uh you know you know, doing tags or fill-ins and the, the, these terminologies. So a fill-in would be like uh, you taking a spray paint can and filling in your name or so it's colored in. So it's, you know, call it fill-ins. Got it. That's your tag. Yeah. Yeah, your tag. And then there's also tags where you go out with a little marker and, you know, you write your little name somewhere. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that, I did that for a few years. And, um, yeah, after a while, I, 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 I just... Uh, I don't know. I just got older and I, I felt different about it. You know, I didn't want to tag anybody's property. I strictly stuck with doing it on things that nobody would care about. Uh, maybe garbage cans or street poles or <laughs> those parking ticket machines. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of those. Things. You know, I'm going to give you another idea. There's these like cameras that shoot off when you oh, drive man. a little too fast. <laughs> no. Yeah, right. Maybe that might be a good spot. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm way into my adult years now. So I, I don't do any more illegal uh, graffiti. Uh, so I'm, I, I, I jumped into the mural world and I love street art and uh, just doing murals and, you know, having the time to not have to worry about getting chased and yeah. sitting there and completing a, a body of work with time. It just, it's, it's uh it's amazing. It's therapeutic. <laughs> For sure. No, absolutely. And I mean, wh- tell me about, in, in addition to the risk of just obviously getting caught by the cops, you know, I mean, was there any sort of risk uh, with other groups of graffiti artists or does everyone have a mutual respect for each other? No, there, there's at times there's like what you call beef, I guess. Right. Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he went over my piece and oh, he, you know, so there's, there's that going on, but I, we, um, I was fortunate enough to have a group of people around me that weren't really into uh, all that, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you know, beef. Beef, you know? yeah. Yeah. So uh, after you know a few years, I kind of just went on my own. I, and any graffiti that I did was geared towards just me, uh, just doing it for myself and nobody else. So I didn't have a a crew per se at that later on. You know? Got it. Got it. But uh, at, at some point, yeah, I painted with a lot of. Uh, uh, well, crews, what you call it, you know, the graffiti crews. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. And so you transitioned out, went then into the mural uh, space, and now you've been doing that for how long? Um, I would say I, I, there, there's been periods of my time where uh, where where I just 
step away, but mm-hmm. I recently got back into it about three years ago. I just dove in back, uh, you know, try to, you know, like you said, full time and, and really focus on it because, um, yeah, it was lacking, you know, life got busy, you know, kids, wife, you know, and it, it just, there was no, I didn't set a, aside time for it. So, uh, I don't know. I just really got back into it, and and now I'm balancing that time, to, you know, with the family, but also trying to do as much work as possible. Absolutely. And, and yeah, we need these murals all over the city. I'm telling you that because this, you know, it breathes life into the city. Right. You know what you did at where we at Dulce, uh, you know, uh, Leche. Yeah. That that was amazing, and I feel like right. that you said something too, where it was, it kind of brought also. When I go to Miami, Wynwood, it yeah. has a Wynwood yeah. vibe, yeah, right? Yeah. And for those that you don't know, you know, Wynwood is the art district, right, in Miami? Yes, yes. And so did you do any murals out there? Not yet. Or was it, it more just inspiration and that it, you ins- saw? Yeah, inspiration. And uh, like, not yet, but I, I would love to go do yeah. something in Miami. Um, my inspiration for Dulce de Leche was uh, just trying to make it stick out because um, right there on Lawrence Avenue, there's a lot of buildings. Albany just, Park. Albany yeah. Park. That little section kind of, if you have a business there, it's kind of going to blend in with with everything else. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, not to knock all the other businesses. No, if you've been there, down but... Lawrence, everybody knows, you <laughs> yeah. know, it's just, yeah, it, nothing really, they all look pretty similar from the Yeah, from the, pretty the random. Side. Yeah. Pretty random, but I love it, you know. It's yeah. been like that. I lived in Albany Park my whole life, basically. So, um, yeah, so I'm familiar with the areas, and uh, I, I wanted to stick out in a, best way was just pop it out with white and like you said it just has this whole it, it looked like somebody just you know planted it there out of nowhere one yeah, day it's yeah. just boom and it, you know it works it's white it's uh it, it it attracts your eye i guess yeah yeah for sure and then so how do you know most of the time how do you does the city have any sort of restrictions just for you know murals out in the front of the building or is it just kind of all right let's let's put it up and let's see how far it goes <laughs> <laughs> no, well uh I, it's all on the business i'm the business owner or the building owner to go ahead and uh, give the green light yeah so so the you know they got the green light from the from the owner and you know it was game on after that he was uh the o- omar the owner of dulce de leche cafe was really open to ideas and uh i love working with clients like that to just that you, um, excuse me, produce, yeah. and uh, it worked out. You know, it wasn't difficult. It was real basic, just plants, and uh, uh, it was. Just, I love the business, family owned, so I really wanted it to like come yeah. through for them and yeah. produce something that was going to work for their coffee shop, and uh, it, it works. Even the angel rings that he has inside. Yeah, of, that's the one. Yeah, the, that one's going to be on a lot of Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people are vibing with it. They like it. It's, it's family oriented. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then I saw you had some other stuff also. I mean, talk to us about some of the other ones that you've done um, yeah. as well. I saw on your Instagram. Okay. By the way, uh, what's your Instagram handle? Okay, yeah, you guys can find me on at, at pause underscore 312. Perfect. Yeah. At pause underscore 312. Yeah. Nice. And then, yeah, I, I was on there. I saw some of the other uh, pieces that you had done. So talk to us about those. Yeah, um, most of them has been luckily in Logan Square area. You know, it's close to Albany Park, uh, and they're the neighborhood's really open to uh, graffiti or murals. So as you can see, you go down Logan Square, it's like a it's like an art oh, show. Oh yeah, for outdoor, sure. Yeah, you know, museum. You know, there's a ton of murals. So um, I love painting that neighborhood. You know, same thing. I got good good. Uh, good connections with a lot of businesses on, in, in uh, Logan Square and, um, you know, got 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 the gigs, I guess. Nice. And, um, yeah, they're, like I said, they're pretty open too as far as what they allowed me to paint in their, on their walls and uh, hopefully it just keeps going. I, I'm, tr- I'm trying to <laughs> keep spreading, you know, it's time to spread the wings, I guess. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, you know what? You've heard him here, so if you, you know, reach out to yeah. uh, Christian and, you know, he's going to do some pretty impressive uh, murals there for you. Yeah. And cool. then the other the other question I have is like, so where do you actually, so most of the time you have your own ideas and thoughts about it. And then how long is the actual process? I mean, do you put it on paper first or you just, you know, look at the space and then you design based off the space yeah. that you're that you're drawing on? How does, how does that work yeah, exactly? I, I always like to go to the place first and just catch a vibe you know, see how that place is for sure working because it's, 
almost working with the architect or the interior design as well, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of vibe of what they're trying to do. And uh, after that, yeah, there's a process of sketching and going back and forth with the client, seeing what works for them. If it's, if, if it's uh, you know, something is a collaboration. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm old school. I got the sketch, paper, pencil. I love that, you know, yeah. Uh, I just got into this uh, iPad business and uh, All right. I'm still learning the in, ins and outs of that. It, it cuts time in half, but I still prefer the old method, mm -hmm. um, you know. And then after that, go ahead and produce. We talked about that actually. We said you gotta, you know, once you put it on there, uh, set up the NFTs, you know, which oh, is a right. big trend right now. I think there's a great way to monetize on that, which, mm. you know, if anyone knows how to get that set up, you know, <laughs> please put it on the chat, you know, put yeah. it on the comment sections. Right. We'd love to find out exactly how he can, or, you know, how any artist really can just monetize also uh, using NFTs. So- That'd be amazing. Yeah. yeah. And what about, um, so talk to us about the scene, like the mural scene here in Chicago. I mean, th is there yeah. like a, a community of different mural <laughs> artists? I mean, how do you, how does that work exactly? Yeah, there's a, there's a few well-known artists out here that are really producing a lot of work. And um, uh, it just, there's a lot of talent here. Uh, Chicago's been a, it's kind of hidden or underground in, in, as far as the U.S. goes. I think um, it had a lot of, uh, you know, I would say this traction to to get off traction with uh, in in the late '90s, early 2000s, because there was a lot of buff going on. So the city would um, people would produce murals, and the city would come and clean it with oh, the yeah. buff brown. So you ever <laughs> right. seen that buff brown? It's it's been around. It's been around for a while. So um, not as of lately. I've seen more artworks st stay longer, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be legal or illegal. Um, uh, so. There's a lot of good talent out here. And I, yeah, there's a community of uh, artists, whether it be graffiti artists or street artists that are, you know, always having events or you see them on mural projects like, oh, you could recognize their work when you see it. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what I was going to ask. So like, what, what are the, are there like, what are the more famous or kind of annual events mm -hmm. uh, that... Uh, I know, like, for example, the hip hop scene has, I'm sure that yeah. there's stuff, the graffiti has their like networking yeah. events, but I think graffiti and murals kind of tie into each other, don't they almost? Uh, almost. Uh, or, but it's yeah, they, almost, but not really. <laughs> yeah, almost not really. It, it's, there's some unspoken beef between some graffiti. Really? Okay, yeah, that's, what we, need, that's what we want to know about. Yeah. <laughs> so, so why is that? Um, I don't know. You know, it's, uh, graffiti's always been kind of egotistical, I guess, or, you know, there's always been this. Uh, like this is my tag. This is yeah, me. Yeah, this is yeah. Okay. Or you know, there's this. Not me per se. I I, I don't. I love all art. So you know, mm -hmm. if you're a street artist, keep doing your thing. If you're a graffiti artist, you know, be respectful and do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's that unspoken beef. Uh, maybe because they're just getting more walls now, and other than graffiti artists, don't have that. That, oh, um, I see what you're saying. Permission, I guess. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but I don't understand that. I think it's just, uh, you know, it's like I said, there's a lot of ego in that. And I think it's evolving to be more accepting towards people that do street art and and the graffiti. You know, there's got to be a, uh, a balance and, you know, coming together, you know. And I think I've seen that uh, as, as we move into the future, there's more of a, uh, working together hand in hand with street artists and or there's graffiti artists that are now developing work that's uh, you know become street art I guess I for know. sure the terminology is yeah, all over no, the place no, I, that, that makes a ton yeah, of sense gra graffiti is more le letter based you know okay it emphasizes in letters I guess uh, if you want to break it down like that you know? yeah that makes sense mm -hmm. and then the thing the other thing is so like so is there one, so going back, is there an event like, uh, oh, you're right. yeah. uh, you know, a popular event that yeah. is coming up anytime soon that maybe someone <laughs> that's looking to, you know, learn more or dive deeper oh, into sure. the culture, like they can go and check out and, and, and yeah, there's a, there's a few people that host them. Um, I, I know there's, uh, like in, where like Pilsen, Logan Square, I would think. Well, there's a meeting of styles and this is annually, uh, that's, that's one of the biggest graffiti, um, get togethers that are it's not just in chicago it's also worldwide oh wow they, okay. they haven't been you know anywhere you think of uh poland brussels i mean they're oh, wow. everywhere okay. so meetings of style that organization has always held really great events um 
you know, they pull up the artist. I mean, amazing, amazing talent. Like like uh, Windward in Miami was that Art, Art Basel. Yeah, yeah. And that's a great event too. That is awesome. Yeah. That's what I think I was going towards. Mm -hmm. Like that's I think in my head I, I was thinking something like that. Like, you know. Yeah. I think Chicago should have something a little bit oh, absolutely. more absolutely. kind of like Art Basel. I mean, who, who yeah. you know, how, I mean, if you're, someone's listening, I mean, how yeah. can we create something like that mm -hmm. over here, right? There's a, there's one a company called Moodles that um, get together a bunch of artists and, and they have events. I think, I believe I've seen it's called Titan Walls. Oh, okay. I'm not too familiar with it. I haven't painted that event. But um, they produce something like that annually, I believe. Here in Chicago? Here in Chicago. Oh, okay, perfect. And uh, yeah, that's a really good one. And a lot of good, great artists come out there and, you know, paint walls. Uh, it's amazing. But like you said, I wish there was a lot more because we're, Chicago only has like three months out of the winter, you know? I, I mean, know. I mean, it, it has winter. to be in the summer, if anything. So let's get it going, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, we got such a short window for that to happen unfortunately and it's uh, nuts i saw some of the murals out there like you know and and, and when would mm -hmm. transact i mean there's some going for you know in the millions some of these murals yeah. oh yeah you yeah. know oh yeah 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 definitely you know there's there's uh there's a good there's money to be made if your artwork well banksy right i mean that's that's <laughs> yeah. how do you feel about his work um i i, I like it you know i enjoy it i think it's uh witty uh you know he brings something new to the table always uh but as far as it what it's priced for i wouldn't it's a little inflated <laughs> <laughs> no i would never but uh right. you know i think it's um it, it, they're just buying a name as far as that goes you know for sure uh, but his artwork is great you know i'm not i'm not gonna knock it i i, I enjoy it you know I, his 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 work has been really influential to a lot of uh, people and uh, uh, I think he has a show coming up, but you know, nice. Yeah. So, do you look at other artists for inspiration? It's mainly like you just you 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 dig deep to your own, you know, experiences, and then just use that and channel that onto your right. pieces. Uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh, I always, yeah, you always get inspired, whether you know it or not. You're just you get inspired some way. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a little mixture of both, but um, there's always a effort to like develop your own style and keep pushing that more you know forward i guess nice yeah. nice yeah well there it is you know i mean i if, like i said i i was excited to have you today because i was like this is something you know i i love what i've seen your work is amazing and you know i want everybody to you know experience and see what you've done yeah so you know at christian underscore no at pause yeah underscore three one three one two and yeah. the three one two if you don't know i mean that's because of the chicago yeah, right yeah. chicago yeah. area code yeah seven seven three was taken i believe oh was it really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know i think uh you know three one two you can't go wrong with that yeah. exactly yeah. well that was the original one right everything yeah. used to be three one two yep. so it's, i think it's a little bit more chicago you know if you think about it that's true that's true you know yeah it's going back to to uh to the basics there but um you know christian i want to thank you so much for shedding light on on you know on the community on your art and um you know if there's anything else that we left out that you want to talk about real quick you know just let us know yeah no uh no like i said thank you for having me and uh you know getting a voice to some artists out here that are trying to you know hustle up and put some more artwork out out there so any businesses that want their walls painted or even you know public walls that are available there's a lot of artists that would just do it for free i've done so many most of my work is done uh you know out of pocket just just for the love of uh painting so uh you know we make it work somehow absolutely mm -hmm. well that's something really good to keep in mind because you know a lot of i think artists sometimes you know so you, you want to put your name out there right i mean mm -hmm. you want to give it exposure and sometimes you just you know that and that transcends actually into a lot of different businesses too you know we do a lot of real estate stuff here we talk a lot about real estate and i always say going the extra mile even mm -hmm. you know doing above and beyond sometimes what you're even paid for and it's kind of like what you're saying here and it's not only because of what you love but also because it helps like really put your name out there right 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 yeah so yeah especially if you're you know you're passionate about that one thing you're doing and you know money's good but you know it's also your work and you put you know pride and joy into your work it's fun. yeah and it's fun yeah exactly and um yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of real estate. Put it, I, I see real estate as walls. So there's a lot of real estate out there that just make 
it has a lot of opportunity to make the city great, you know? Absolutely. So many, so many. Well, let's put your murals on all of them, you know? No, let's get it, man. <laughs> let's get it, exactly. <laughs> Another thing, you know, I know that Chicago, let's talk about the Chicago crew scene, you know, the okay. graffiti scene, sure, sure. because, you know, I, I like that we, we, we touched on, you know, the, the murals and, and, you know, the, the divide between yeah. both. Mm -hmm. But so what are some of the famous crews here in Chicago right now? Some of the old school and some of the new school. <laughs> sure. Uh, I definitely got to give credit to where credit is due. And uh, CMW has always produced amazing artwork and they've been on the forefront and also uh cmw and uh mul have been two of my favorite um uh, crews that produce amazing works i mean there's also uh all, all well let's list. talk about let's talk about that one first so see sure. so what are they known for exactly because i'm sure they stand out in their specific you know yeah oh uh, well territory or areas yeah i guess longevity and it just producing work uh whether it be you know you know, bridges trains et yeah yeah just graffiti in general in, in chicago they've made a great um impacted uh you know the graffiti scene here um and also murals you know they they how many people do they consist of in that in that is it uh, one guy is it or, I, or is that too much information to <laughs> there's, a, there's an army <laughs> okay <laughs> is it like anonymous which is like you know yeah, they just go by the handle and then <laughs> they're, they're little ninjas you know little ninjas all over the place um but yeah there, there's plenty of uh, talent out there that's still evol you know producing great graffiti you know uh, whether it be trains or you know, on, on, on the rooftops, uh, you, you'll still see it when you take that train ride and you see something that's really good. It's, you know, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, but that they pay that, that. That's them. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a there's a bunch of other artists that are out there still doing it and uh, actually putting good work as far as uh, making sure it, it, it's good. It looks good. It's, uh, you know, they don't just go up there and they don't have something. Acid. Yeah. yeah you know i put in that work and make it look nice for everybody i, I appreciate that stuff i really that's do that's awesome so th any other names stand out any other uh uh let me see uh names as far as like artists like um like uh, when i'm on the ex expressway and i'm looking out mm -hmm. you know here's one that i see everywhere okay who who's wasp <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yo! <laughs> is that a guy? Is that like because I've seen it. you know that about like there's wasp on like just tagged <laughs> everywhere like on the mailboxes on like I've, and I've seen wasp since I was like a kid. So this guy's got to at least be you know in his like fifties to sixties right now, and he's it. still tagging because right? Don't you see wasp everywhere? <laughs> So um, is it white Anglo-Saxon Protestant <laughs> or what does that mean? Because that's what I think every time I see it. <laughs> that's a great one. That's a great one. No, Wasp is actually a crew. Yeah. Oh, it's a crew. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought mm -hmm. it was, you see, I was going to go ahead and mention them too, but yeah. They're, it's a crew. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a person and I thought it was just like, is that a, I, I'm in my head. I'm like, there's a 55, <laughs> 60 year old guy still tagging Wasp. <laughs> been around which is forever. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these Chicago crews been around for a long time. Uh, and Wasp is one of them. They're good in, uh, are you what does it mean? Much? What does it mean? No, it, I see it on the north side. I'm a north sider. Oh, I'm north actually, side, okay. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I grew up in Saganash mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, not too far from Albany Park. And I see it, you know, and there's a train tracks that passes by in Peterson and you see it everywhere there. But just at anywhere, really. Yeah, 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 Honestly, yeah. <laughs> wherever you go, you see yeah. Waz. So L Locke was laughing because he knows what I'm talking about. I mean, yeah. everyone. So there's also generations, you know, there, okay. uh, you know, it starts off with, uh, first generation that came up with the crew and then it gets passed down to the younger generation as they go got it so uh it's something that's always evolving too uh that goes for a lot of crews uh, that's how it kind of works you know um just a new generation will come in and take over you know pass the torch i guess and uh so yeah when you see it a lot it's <laughs> they put in work <laughs> got it that's 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 awesome i have another question yeah, i don't know yeah, if this is it. this is going into something that you know do the do any graffiti artists work with the unions because sometimes mm -hmm. i, I want to say it's on the real yeah, estate yeah. side yeah. is because i've seen certain projects when there's a dispute between a union and non-union work i've seen that uh it's weird like they get tagged like 
you know, non stop. I didn't know if that was like just maybe like the non union like the unions have a have a relationship <laughs> with like some some tagger and they're just going in and destroying the place. Bro. Or if it's just, hey, this is a this is an empty spot. This is gonna be fun. Let's break in and you know, let's tag because for the yeah. rush. No, not that I know of, but um, I think it's that what you just said. Maybe they see it as an opportunity okay. to produce. There's my conspiracy and, uh, theories. Yeah. So yeah, you know who knows, but um, like, you know when it comes to graffiti, that's why I stopped doing it. I I just really had more respect for like businesses and people's property. You know, there comes a time where you know you you, you keep going and doing it. Or uh, for me, I just it wasn't worth it, and I didn't it, morally it just didn't sit well with me. Uh, but I, you know, there's certain things I still produce out there that I don't, I, I would consider, I guess, illegal. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's, uh, more geared towards like random places, like maybe a sidewalk or something. Right. Something it, that's not. Something that'll catch your eye, but it's not just hitting windows. And yeah, I want to say that too, you know, if any graffiti artists are out there listening, you know, just have some respect, you know, you know, I, I, I you know, where to go paint and not to paint, you know. Exactly. Uh, there's been, you know, I just don't like seeing it on the, etched on the windows. I think that's all bad. Or in the gives, bathrooms? In the bathrooms, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it just gives it a bad taste, you know. Uh, it can be done still. It could be done properly, you know, just, you know, with, with a little bit more of consideration. I think that's what it is. I mean, you hit the nail on the head is that. You know, when you go to a bathroom or when you're at like not just a bathroom, but, you know, if certain areas, it just doesn't look right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when it's but if but there's certain pockets right, where right. it's just like, OK, well, it <laughs> makes it sense. You know, it works. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just using your head. Kind yeah, of, right? yeah, I mean, yeah, there is. And and that's the interesting thing. You know, without graffiti, there wouldn't be this whole street art. I, don't know, I guess that term just came up street art or mural, uh, you know, world. Uh, without graffiti because mm -hmm. they were they were the ones that you know right. kind of pioneered the whole street art um world you know you go to new york and you know, i guess that's the mecca of graffiti mm -hmm. um so you know you can't go to new york and not like the graffiti it's just embedded in their culture and their in their city their yeah. landscape you know for sure and then so no absolutely and then what about uh the the relationship with just graffiti and gangs and gang members and gang okay. society because yeah. you know a lot of people uh associate really graffiti with just you know gang yeah. members right because most of the graffiti that we see here in chicago is gang affiliated right you right know, you see you know the king's logo or <laughs> yeah. you know their logo so I like that. like like the kings are in every yeah. uh you know I, I, you know i'll see anyway i don't know anything like I have, <laughs> now i have to be careful because if i if i call no, one no, specific gang, no, they're gonna say right. hey <laughs> hey we do it too you you know whatever i don't <laughs> i don't want to get like right. a hit on me at like three in the morning or you something better mention you know? us. Uh, yeah because i'm showing appreciation <laughs> here you know no i mean this chicago you know is heavily gang filled city right you know um so yeah there's definitely a uh, separation between a graffiti artist tag and a, a gang graffiti um mark uh they're both definitely different they're totally different you know mm -hmm. uh graffiti artists don't go out there and uh you no know, game bang or you know there there's has been a few that have gone to that you know extreme extreme exactly but uh, for the most part they, they, it's two separate entities you know got it yeah and you know you know you're in a you know you're in a you know where you're in a bad area when you start seeing certain symbols you know oh yeah, when you start tour. seeing yeah, yeah. exactly exactly yeah. so that's not i mean so really don't confuse that with true graffiti yeah. right i mean yeah. that's just more of i think boundary yeah kind of disputes right because exactly. what that, most of the time i see like one certain gang, you know, graffiting, and then another gang yeah. graffitiing over their graffiti. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that's kind of a way to, for them to yeah call each other out. I would I, assume. Yeah, I, I, I don't, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of gangs out here in Chicago. It's always been a negative, you know, you know, outlook in in, right. in Chicago. But um, yeah, you see some of that. Just call the city, and they'll come clean it up. You know. Yeah, three one one. <laughs> yeah. I've done it plenty because you know I live in my neighborhood twenty five years, and it, it's it's been you know heavily gang operated for for many years. They finally started to uh, 
crack down. Crack down, I guess, clean it up a little bit and, you know, good for that, you know. And, uh, yeah, I've never hesitated when I see something like that. I'm like, hey. You see, I, I like what you said there. Yeah. You know, someone that has an appreciation for the art and, you know, you're a mural artist. You've done, you know, you've been a graffiti artist or you mm -hmm. still, you know, can do graffiti. Right. Obviously, I mean, um, if you see something that you don't like, I mean, you're even calling 311 and saying, get yeah. this shit <laughs> out of, yeah. you know, clean this absolutely, up. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, hey, get this out of here. Let's let's put some artwork up there. Exactly. You know I mean? uh, the more murals there are out there, the less graffiti or bad graffiti you're going to see, I guess. I mean, you know, less gang graffiti you're going to see probably. Right. So it, uh, you know, it just brings this uh, really good vibe to a neighborhood. Got it. Uh, That's interesting. And... You know, are there other crews that stand out in the mm -hmm. country? You know, you mentioned here yeah, in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. You said New York's obviously got a yeah, great scene. Yeah, for sure. Um, what sort of other crews, you know, if someone's into the scene, yeah. what, they can check them <laughs> well, out. I, I think every graffiti artist knows, uh, you know, MSK is out there doing big things. Uh, they have a really good, um, r really great artist just putting together work. Um, that's another great graffiti crew that I really admire. Um, so... Check MSK? MSK, yeah. Perfect. Uh, Locke, you mentioned actually something. Oh, yeah, One Up. Yeah, One Up. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, can you talk about those guys a little bit? I don't know too much about them, but I know they're worldwide too. You know, it's not, uh, also, you know, there's all these crews are pretty much worldwide now, just, just spread out throughout the world now. Um, but yeah, they're heavily in Europe and they produce a lot of great work and very, um, very big pieces of work you know bit, very big pieces of uh, graffiti artwork right and then I, I mean i'm sure that they're they're just blowing up their instagram and tiktok i mean that's how they're oh, kind yeah. of probably you know really getting to the scale that yeah. they're at now right yeah social media has been uh just killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's back in the day where you do a graffiti piece i'll go out and paint something and i would lose sleep hope right when day you know daylight comes up get on the train and go document you know get your picture you know, go develop your picture ah. and then you have it in your photo album, you know, and uh, now nowadays is instant gratification of just taking your photo. I mean, producing your piece, taking your photo and putting it out there and for everybody to see. Um, that's part of it, you know. Absolutely. So, you know, you got to work with the tools that are given. You yeah. Know? Yeah. How much money do you spend on paint? Oh, oh man. Because I know, I know those, it's not regular spray. No, no, if this. Uh, know, okay, no, yeah. you're right. And the nozzles are like. Yeah, no. Oh, like, okay. This is, uh, yeah. That's a this, good question. Yeah, man. great question. Um, it's, it's uh, the game has changed a lot. You know, back in the day, you go to Home Depot and buy paint there. Now it's uh, all catered to graffiti artists. So, you know, average mural, it could run you from, uh, easily 500 to maybe 2500 depending on the size of the wall easily you know mm. yeah so uh those tools are expensive per can uh a good spray spray can can run you about seven bucks at home depot no <laughs> they um <laughs> unfortunately chicago has a law you can't sell spray paint in the right, city right i've seen so that. yeah mayor daly put that one out there and it hasn't been it's been sitting there so you got to go to the suburb or any local shop out here has it um there's there's great shops out here um i don't know if i could put them out there like that because yeah i don't know if they're uh um well yeah no actually there's one that's uh operating out of oak park that's amazing um momentum art tech they're 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 great you know they have good good paint and also uh you know local shops have them uh in the suburb areas but um yeah, it's, the game has changed as far as tools for the trade. Uh, so yeah, it's very expensive. It can get, it, it can be really expensive at times. Yeah. All right. Well, that's <laughs> <It's> expensive <the> hobby. <laughs> and then the last question. Uh, yeah. When there's work overlap, is there like an unspoken rule of when you can paint over someone else's? Piece? Oh, that's a great oh, one. Yeah. 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 There, there is like so tags, right? You got your basic signature tag, a a fill in, which is like a bubble structure letter filled in can go over that and it should be all good because fills go over tags and then so there's a hierarchy there's a hierarchy okay. of this artwork yeah and then uh burners or murals or you know something that's has like more technical letter structure can go over that fill in usually that doesn't happen here because there's plenty of space you know it's not like new york but yeah that that would be the you know 
the hierarchy. Uh, anything that goes over your work, then you know. It, Basically, it sounds like issues. anything that go, but it almost sounds like anything that does go over your work better be damn good. That's right. Yeah. Because, exactly. you know, it's like, okay, fine. I understand, you know, but if it's yeah. like somebody just putting their initials over your. Yeah. You know, I was going to say that too. Yeah. You, sometimes there's a lot of good murals or street art and then, you know, it gets gone over with a tag. And I think that's just. Um, I've seen that before. That's it gets horrible. Me that's so terrible. Yeah, yeah. Me too. It, it's just. I don't know if that new generation has been taught by the older generation the right way, but that's something that I've never. It's like a lack of respect. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've never done that. We just go tag somebody's artwork like that. It's terrible. You guys got to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. There's there's got to be that respect for for murals and, and street art as well. You know, can't just go ahead and tag over that. And that's where we talked about earlier about the beef between graffiti artists and mural artists or street artists. There's there's become more of a lack of respect for for that for their artwork you know oh uh, for the graffiti artists or for the mural artists for the mural artists oh know? i see so oh, mm -hmm. meaning because they do do that they go yeah. over the murals yeah i've yeah. seen that and that's yeah. that's pretty sad i mean yeah. you, because you see some murals i've you know there's there's these huge murals sometimes under the bridge too that are done that take you know yes. sometimes months yeah and then somebody comes by and yeah. then just puts their their name yeah yeah and it looks terrible it looks you can yeah. tell the guy got like you know one spray his first spray can yeah and, just, <laughs> and then that's you know. usually what it is it's a you know adolescence kid just trying to get his like, yeah, like foot teenager, in the door yeah. you know and 12 it, 13 year old it happens man yeah. it happens it's part of the game i've had a couple murals that have been dissed and you know you 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 just take it you know it, it gave me an opportunity to go and do something better go over and you know take care of your walls you right. know yeah got it got yeah. it well all right perfect <laughs> yeah, no right. that was a great one i mean like do you check yeah. back monthly of your pre's work to see i i i, I take i take care of my work yeah I, i'll periodically go and make sure everything looks good if there's a color that's faded i'll go in and touch it up like i you know i take care of that artwork because it, it it does hit the elements the sun the rain the snow right. So I, I I like to keep them nice and sharp. They're like my little babies out right. there. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, what about that uh, the other Chicago artist? Uh, the, have you seen? You probably seen this goggle, the goggle boy. God. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't man, know. Man, uh, yeah. Uh, no. I'm sorry, I can't even think of his name. He's well known. I should know his name, but yeah. you know. He, he just nah. paints this kid with goggles. Goggles. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good. Every, there's one in Uptown. Really? Like, yeah. How have I missed that? I'm pretty sure I'm, I've seen uh, it before. I cannot think of the name right now, but yeah, he is very well known here in the in, in the in the Chicago art scene. Uh, he had an exhibition too for that went for quite some time. Oh. Yeah, in the heart of COVID time too. So it was really nice that they were they produced something like that. And I cannot think of his name right now. Oh what, yeah, what yeah. Say? I've seen that with the goggles. Yeah. It doesn't say his I name. Yeah. That has almost like a Banksy kind of vibe to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Jamie Robinson. Let me see. Jamie. Can I see that? Jamie Robinson? Art, yeah, the, read that description. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I cannot think of his name. He goes, um, yeah, well, there you have it. There's his name. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's Jamie Hebrew, Robinson? my man, he moved, that's uh, Hebrew Brantley. Yeah, Hebrew Brantley. Yeah, that's that's the artist's name. Hebrew Brantley. Yeah, hey Hebrew. Got it. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, he, he uh, you know, great Chicago artist right there. Amazing, putting a lot of work out there. That's awesome. Well, perfect. I mean that 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 sums it. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we're gonna stay tuned for some of your you you know your your new pieces and uh, looking forward to. You know, hey, we've got some uh, real estate as well. We, maybe we can work out uh, yeah, some yeah. stuff as well. Yeah, some of those guys, you know, where to reach uh, John and let's make it happen. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, Christian, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, if you like what you heard, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out Christian, uh, his Instagram. Do you have any other social media handles? Uh, right you, now, it's just, just Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, I'm, I'm just rolling with that right now. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, there you heard it. All right, Christian, man, thank you so much. All I right. appreciate it. Appreciate Thanks so much. You. Thank All you. Right, All take right. care.